Hey everybody, welcome back to Open by Accident. This is Matt, and today I'm going to play Special Criminal Investigation. This is a game I played in the arcade as a child. I remember playing it fondly with my older brother. Uh, this is something that was in our area, and I remember playing it quite a bit. Um, this uh, was a stand-up arcade cabinet that I played on. It had a steering wheel and a shifter. And this is the direct sequel to Chase HQ, and the big difference between the two is this adds a new element to the game which allows you to shoot a gun while you're driving. This was a single player game, but somehow me and my older brother figured out how to play it in a two player mode where one of us controlled the shooting while the other one did the driving. Um, this game is pretty freaking fun. Uh, you take control of a 300ZX. As you can see, you've got a passenger with you to shoot the gun while you drive. Um, I was playing this through Retro Arch, so it's uh, pretty easy to get the controls under control, given the, the menu screen. Um, but uh, you'll have to do a little playing around with that because you do have a shifter as well as a gun to shoot as well as an accelerator and brake pedal. Um, you do also get uh, given boosts uh, for each credit. You get three boosts and that allows you to speed up the car quite, quite a bit really rapidly. So you can see you've got some enemies here like on the motorcycles. Those you can ram off the road, shoot off the road as well as you've got some like regular uh, traffic that you're trying to avoid. Uh, you can hit them, you'll get little bonus points for that, or you can avoid them, and that kind of racks up your bonus point score. Here we have our first boss fight, and we're given our first special weapon, which is a rocket launcher. And essentially what you're trying to do is damage the car enough to get him to stop. You can see over there on the left-hand side, you have a damage meter where we are damaging the car with the rocket, shooting him, as well as ramming him. Once you get that damage meter, uh, all the way up, he stops. So that's essentially the gameplay of the game. This is a lot of fun. It's a quick, easy playthrough. This isn't my best playthrough, unfortunately, and I did not get the good ending. At the very end of the game, there's a section where you have to get through a, uh, a large section of road with a bunch of obstacles in a 30 second uh, time frame, and unfortunately I did not quite do that. Now, some of the audio on this is quite amusing, so the commentary on this is fun. Uh, and then, uh, as the game progresses, it gets the difficulty ramps up quite a bit. Um, main, your main obstacles are like running off the road here on the left and right, you have water. It's easy to just fall right off. Um, you know, like the signs on the side. This is kind of reminiscent of like a game like Rad Racer on the original Nintendo where hitting the stuff on the side will spin you out. You can hit the cars and move on as you can see there, but uh, your obstacles really are the stuff that are stationary. Uh, the vehicles themselves aren't really obstacles. But I, really enjoy this game. Highly recommend you check it out if you have a means of uh, emulating arcade machines. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Or if you find an actual arcade cabinet, definitely take the time to check it out. It's a fun game. If you enjoyed the Chase HQ game, I think this is a better version of that because it adds that element of being able to shoot a gun while you're driving. Uh, this was definitely one of my favorite arcade games as a kid. And I, I can play through this multiple times in a day just trying to advance my high score or trying to get to that uh, good ending. So, highly recommend this one. We appreciate you guys checking us out. Um, if you have a suggestion for like some old arcade games that you played as a kid that you want us to do a playthrough on, definitely uh, leave a comment below. Um, you can also hit that subscribe button if you like the content you're seeing. We really appreciate everybody for checking out the channel. So, with that, I'll leave you with a special criminal investigation, the sequel to Chase HQ. That's one of my favorite arcade games, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy.
I guess Bob is somewhere over the mountain, you dummy. Open channel, code 4. Bob Black, the syndicate gang boss, is in a limousine, speeding toward the mountain area. Get him. Over. Karen. Roger. Don't say nothing till he comes. <laughs> Open channel, code four. A patrol wagon with Bob Black aboard has been stolen by an unknown perpetrator. He may use the shotgun now. Over. Karen, Roger.
Mr. Raymond, Tony Raymond, the next mayor. He's gonna put you all out of the business. Open channel, code four. Tony Raymond is fleeing with the convoy toward the desert. Bring him to justice. Over. Karen, Roger. Listen good. Your little girl is hugging a time bomb in the warehouse somewhere in the suburbs. You got only 30 seconds left. Ha ha ha! Get a move on, buddy. Over. Garrett, gotcha, baby. 